Hi guys, this is Ruchi from Easy Peasy Gardening. And as you can see here, there are, there are a lot of weeds growing. You know, uh, once it rains and the weather starts to warm up, a uh, lot of weeds start to grow everywhere. And so today we are going to talk about weed control. So first of all, what is weed? Weed is a plant that is growing in a place where you don't want it to grow. And most probably it is choking other good plants that you actually want to grow. So it's not necessary that all the weeds are bad. And in fact, you know, if you have seen my other videos, I grow amaranth and I grow um, uh, lamb squatters. They are considered weeds, but they are actually very nutritious. So I grow them and I use them in my cooking. But in general, you know, home gardeners, they don't know about weeds. And whenever weeds uh, are growing like this, you want to get rid of them. And there are many different solutions. So the first solution that everybody thinks of is that, you know, get that weed killer from the store, spray it off and we are done. So as I said, you know, uh, you can go out and buy some chemicals from uh, the garden stores and they're really effective. You know, you um, spray them and you can kill all the weeds. Um, for example, here I have, you know, two bottles, you know, at some point, you know, I bought those. But when I researched, they are really, really bad. They not only kill the weeds, but they can also kill the crops nearby. And um, even if you were not growing any crop near the place where you uh, sprayed these, because ultimately with rain and water, you know, they get washed out into nearby creek and then rivers. So you are basically contaminating the whole ecosystem. And that's not good. So these are really... Um, bad chemicals to be used on uh, weeds. So this is glyphosate and this is triclopyr. They are really effective, but please do not use them on weeds or anything uh, to kill the plants. So another solution uh, to kill the weeds is uh, the use of vinegar. Uh, you know, the clear vinegar that you use at home that is only 5% in strength, but that is not enough to kill the weeds. So you can go out and buy galatial uh, vinegar from the stores, which is 100% uh, strength. You can mix it uh, in two parts water and one part uh, that vinegar, and you can use that to kill the weeds. Um, the soil will become slightly acidic because you know vinegar is acidic so some plants like uh, acidic soil so if you were uh, spraying it around the plants which like acidic soil it's fine other plants may not like it so I mean if you don't want to pull out the weeds maybe that is a good solution but use it sparingly I would say because you are making your soil acidic the other method to get rid of weeds is just to pull them. You know, when uh, the soil is moist, you know, after the rains or something, you can just pull these uh, with the roots. They come out pretty easily and you just get rid of them. So this is a very easy way, you know, organic, no harm done to the soil. But of course, this requires a lot of manual labor. So depending on what you want to do, this is uh, one very good option. You know, if you're looking for some exercise, maybe this is how you get rid of the weeds in your garden. But one thing you have to uh, keep in mind that when you are pulling the weeds like this, uh, example, let me show you this one. You see, the seeds have formed on the top. Right now, they are very young. So they are not going to spread, but maybe after two or three weeks, these seeds will dry up and they'll scatter on the ground. And in the next season, they'll produce many more weeds. So you want to do the weed pulling before the seeds uh, are formed. And the next thing is that whenever you uh, pull the weeds, see here, the seeds are drying up. You know, some of them have actually opened up. Now, don't throw these weeds in the compost bin because if your compost bin is not hot enough, 
they will germinate in the next season so you don't want to do that you pull out the weeds if they don't have seeds you can put them in the compost bin if they have the seeds then just get rid of them so remember one thing you don't have to remove weeds i mean you can just leave them as it is if they don't bother you or if they don't become too tall but if they're competing with your good plants then you definitely want to remove them one more way of uh, getting rid of your weeds is using the hoe so there are many different shapes of hoe so what you do is and this will work for you know short weeds so if the ground is dry you just scrape the ground like this on the top and it cuts the weeds off so it is faster than pulling the weeds especially if the ground was dry so if you look at this you know i've removed all these weeds just in a few seconds here so that is another way of getting rid of weeds but the best way of getting rid of the weeds uh, is that when the weeds are small you lay um, flattened cardboard on top of those and then you cover the cardboard with wood chips or uh, you know tree bark for example here you know i put this cardboard on the soil and then i have covered it with wood chips and with water and all both the cardboard and the wood chips will decompose slowly they'll create a good microbial activity there and the weeds and the weed seeds below the cardboard they don't get the sunlight so they can't grow so this is the best way of controlling weeds if you have large surfaces in some places this happens naturally so here this is what i have done in all this area you know i have laid the cardboards and then uh, spread the wood chips on top of it and in this area you can see i have a lot of plants growing a lot of small shrubs but you don't see much weeds and the reason is that we have this huge tree and it uh, sheds these leaves and uh, you know the cones they are automatically mulching this place so uh, there is a thick layer of the wood chips and then these pine needles on top of it so the the soil is probably 3 to 4 inches below the top so weed seeds they don't get the sunlight to grow so to summarize you don't want to use any herbicides on your weeds you could use vinegar to some extent if the ground is wet you can pull off the weeds that is really good but it requires manual labor when the ground is dry you can use hoe to scrape off the weeds and if you have large areas to cover you could use either the garden fabric or the cardboard sheets uh, to cover the ground and then you can top it with uh, wood chips so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye